Hi, we're here in the, uh, the cave of uh, Vito Biala, up in the Atlas Peak AVA. Vito, thanks very much for hosting us here. This is a fabulous looking cave you've got in here. Hi, uh, you're welcome. The focal point of the cave is the portal. I mean, the portal, it, right here. Yeah, from outside. Right outside. I mean, that's the yeah. focal point. That's what draws you know. people in. That's what makes you want to go inside and see the cave. Yeah. What kind of wood is this? Oh, do we know? It's redwood. It's nice. Redwood, yep. Four inches deep. Custom made, had to wait a good long time for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we waited and waited and waited. The bats came and went, and we waited and killed more bats, and we waited. <laughs> okay, so people kind of, they would come through here, and then, well, oh, I noticed also we have the... Uh, well, what, what you've got, you've got this thing built to winery specs. You know, Dave and I built this thing to winery specs, so you've got this drainage here. That, so we have a use permit. We, have, we are a winery, okay? We have to do a couple of things to get the official permit, but everything here is built to winery specs. It's a winery cave, and it's also private cellar, so it's a combination of both. And this is where you can, you know, the drainage and water and wash your barrels and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, this row right here will be for barrel storage, and you can go five high, and barrel storage will be on your left, right over there. In the far back there, you, what you do is you have room for a tank, 750-gallon tank. Will can you we walk back there? Or? Sure. Well, this you, is where I would come to spit, though, if I wanted to spit. Not chewing tobacco, no. You can go outside for that, okay? It's okay. <laughs> all barrels. Okay, so you use Oh yeah, yeah okay. no, don't stack them. Don't stack them on top of each other. Okay. So you can take them all the way around over here. And what you have here, you have the tank over here, and this would be like a stainless steel tank. Okay. And when the wine gets racked, this corner here, it comes out of the barrel. It goes into the tank. You wash the barrels out, and then the water runs down here. It goes out the back, and it goes into the leach field. Okay. And so you've got high pressure water systems over there. Okay. And uh, you know it's set up to be a complete winery. There's the bat motor. You better get a oh video of that. Oh, there's the bat motor, yeah. There you go. They're custom made, yeah. custom designed. It's the Biello bat sticker. Yep. Ah, I like it. Show us it, how it, it works. works. Oh, it works. I've been in here. It works for <laughs> Apple Sticks, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, if, what do we have here? I mean, it's not, I mean, obviously, they don't say it's uh, library this, wines. This is private wine storage. This is, this is wine that I want to put in here, white wine, and some of Neighbors wine and okay. what kind of rack? I've never seen this rack rack accumulating. This was custom built by uh, Bonanza. He's a, one of the best workers in the business. He's just absolutely fantastic. He built these gates, these doors over here. The iron gates. And so he custom made this for you? Oh yeah. And what I did, I found this is an antique door. This is an antique gate that I found. Uh, this more private storage here. And this is this, oh, this 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 gate right here. See this little intersection right here. The central piece comes out of France, and it's it's an antique. And so I said, look, make the rest of it work to blend in with this, and use this as a as sort of the artistic framework in order to make the rest of the gates. So I did that. And what we've got in here, this is our private stuff. That's where we have our Dom Perignon and our Viola, and some Camus and some. You, know. you can tell a lot about a person by what wines that they have here. So it's, I know white people will go kind of some of this. Yeah, sour. this looks pretty familiar. So and it was bottled on my daughter's birthday. It was a coincidence. And how many does it hold? This kind of uh, the whole thing holds 2,200 bottles. Oh, that's yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, that's not. That's cool. Yeah, just an area to hang out in. And this thing is sloped, and I built this table. It, you know, my wife said, I don't want to bang my knees, so make it with three legs. It's like, okay, I'll make a table with three legs, but it's sturdy. Yeah. It works. And then, we hang out in here a lot. It's, you know, we have air conditioning in the house, but you can come out here and time flies. Yeah, tell me about it. Like you said, it's relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I like, you know, you did the candles and all that kind of stuff, so just, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm impressed at you, what you didn't do, and uh, I could see people like putting a plasma TV or all that, and I just like no, the fact that no, there's no, none of that. No. I normally don't think of caves as kind of a comfortable environment. I've walked through a lot of them, but don't think of it that way. But with the pillows and the lights, I could see myself being pretty comfortable in here for hours. He's done a lot of, you know, taking it 
the extra steps that a lot of people don't do as far as really fitting it with very nice high-end iron gates and, and the rock work in here and stuff. And it's those little touches that really add to the personality of a cave. What do you have planted up here? How many acres you got and stuff like that? Uh, we've got close to four acres of Cabernet. We've got maybe 10% Merlot, and that's merely for blending. But, uh, you know, the, the business model is five, maybe 600 cases max. The king of wine is Cab. We're really trying to make the best product that's out there, period.